what if I throw so hard I go through the front window and the back window? I don't know, man. Hey, it's Cam, and today we're going to be testing the durability of the OEM glass versus Shields Polycarbonate. Shields. Thanks to Shields for sending us stuff to break or try to break. Uh, thanks for sending us the poly. And uh, yeah, we'll do our best to f it up. So buckle your seat belts and put on your safety squints uh, and your cut resistant mittens. Getting ready to smash stuff. Welcome to Service Call, a mechanics guide to service, troubleshooting, and repair. We're fairly progressive here on this channel. So we'll be starting small with rocks and pebbles and working our way up to the medium hammer and then maybe the big hammer and whatever else in between. We'll see what it's gonna take to smash this first and then we'll try it on the shields. We'll do everything that we did on this one on the shields glass as well. Once we smash these out, we're gonna install the quarter inch and a half inch in the machine. Kevin will be testing those out. Yeah, giving that a torture test and see what it can take. Oh yeah, we put a bunch of plastic in the cab to keep glass from going everywhere. So, and even then I'm sure glass is still gonna find its way down. Well, don't do this at home. This is stupid. Don't do this to your machine. Just take the window out and replace it. If, you, if it's not broken, you wanna upgrade. <laughs> don't go smashing it because all that glass gets everywhere. But this is a controlled environment. We know what we're doing. We're professionals. So uh, safety wear, safety. We're gonna wear our PPE. I got my steel toe boots, uh, safety gloves, my cut resistant gloves, and my safety glasses to protect my eyes, my eyeballs. My prediction is this is gonna break pretty easy because they break fairly easy. I don't know, I don't know. It's all up in the air. I mean, I've tried to break windows before and they haven't broken and then sometimes you chip it just by tapping your wrench against it. Not that that's ever happened to me. <laughs> Shit happens. Um, yeah, I think that poly will be, probably withstand most of what we can throw at it. I don't know, I, I don't know. We'll try it, we'll do our best. Give her, give her schmoan. Dennis the menace, menace to society. Okay, we'll throw a couple of leaves in there for good measure, control. Starting from most lethal to least lethal, or least to most. I guess there's no order here. Um, we got leaves, we got rock, we got little rocks, we got a big rock, we got a pumpkin, um, and we got a little hockey ball, and then we got the, the ham jammer. So we'll, uh, We'll see, place your bets. Let us know in the comments which one you think is gonna take the cake. We're picking stuff from real world applications, you know, like rocks you have on the job site. You know, maybe you got a breaker on your machine or something. Uh, the leaves, yeah, you know, it's autumn, working in the autumn, you know. Pumpkin spice season, you never know. Got some rowdy kids, some rowdy middle-aged moms throwing pumpkins, I don't know. Same with the ball, you never know. Some kid might come out of nowhere with a hockey ball and whack, swack you with it. And then hammer, because all the mechanics have hammers. People throw hammers. That's the first thing I throw when I get upset, my hammer. No, I don't know. I don't know, man. These are just things, we're just trying to break shit. We'll start with the rocks, because that's what you'll encounter the most, I guess. Um, I don't see a lot of pumpkins on job sites, unless it's a pumpkin farm. Yeah. All right, let's start with the tiny guys. Okay, are we good? Yeah. We're ready? Not a scratch. Nothing, I actually broke the rock. Did you see that? Are you guys filming this yet? Are we, am I allowed to go gung-ho? Yeah. I just don't wanna Oh, let's see. I think we made a chippy chip. Nope. Barely even a 
barely even a the OEM glass is good enough, guys. You don't need to upgrade. Just kidding. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, let's step it up a size, I guess. You got to hit it in the corners. I can't do this, man. I feel guilty doing this. I feel really guilty. This doesn't feel right to me, guys. Put it in the comments. Stop me. Stop me. <laughs> I'm giving it jam, and it's taking it like bread, man. It's taking it just like a piece of toast. I'm just, I just don't want to, to like, what if I, what if, okay, what if I throw so hard, I go through the front window and the back window? I don't know, man. That glass is pretty frickin' skookum, dude. All right, consulted with our fungineers. We're gonna step up a rock size. Like, that's pretty frickin' hard, man. I just, I wanna, I wanna hit it in the corners. I want to, I still wanna hit the machine. With this big one, especially. I mean, that's about as hard as I'm throwing it. Pumpkin time. Pumpkin time! Pumpkin spice! That's why we got our safety toes on. <laughs> pumpkin, pumpkin! Let's grab like a bunch. Ready to get spooky? Ready to get spooky? Okay. More pumpkins. More pumpkins. They're meant to be thrown like this. Oh, that one did more damage just when it hit the ground. Oh, shit, I didn't say a witty comment, sorry. Um, uh, something funny, haha. Ha. Yeah, pumpkin, pumpkin puns, pumpkin spice, <laughs> hockey ball. Uh, dead square center, nothing. I mean, do you really need to upgrade? Yes, yes, you do. Yes. That's why. You see how easy that was? I barely f***ing touched it. I just like, and that, that, that doesn't weigh much. That doesn't probably weigh about the same as that f***ing big rock. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. Oh, now we'll edit the hockey ball as being the one that actually did the damage. Like that? That's all it took was a hockey ball. That was it. See, you, you gotta upgrade. It's just not safe. Kids playing hockey, they go right through your head, right through your nog. You know, it doesn't take much, a piece of pumpkin. Look at that, that was low velocity pumpkin, guys. Really, you, like, it's the safety of your operators, man. It's not worth the risk. That's it. Look how, look how little effort that takes. Okay, I, I know I'm, I'm gonna try not to break this one right away, but I just can't help it. All that glass is gonna fall every time. Pumpkin. People are probably just cringing. You guys are, I'm cringing. I hope you're cringing at home. I don't, I don't normally treat customers' machines like this. I don't. <laughs> and I didn't bring a, I didn't bring a punch. I didn't bring a punch with me, but I bet you, I bet you this will do it. Oh no, it didn't. 
That one didn't work as good. Yeah, I got, I got to use the pumpkin. This is just straight up pumpkin. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. I didn't. I didn't hit it right. The pumpkin. Pumpkin was slippery. Straight up pumpkin, Charlie Brown. That's all it took. You know, working in a pumpkin patch and a pumpkin comes flying out of somewhere. Watch out for those cougars in their pumpkins. You guys know how glass is made. You can Google that. Um, but this is tempered glass, meaning it's been like, I, I don't know, heat treated, heat treated, you know, like they bring it up and temper it. Uh, so when it breaks, it, it, it shatters like this. And, uh, I mean, they do this kind of thing in like machines and in your car and stuff. They'll do that so that when it does break, it blows up into a bunch of tiny pieces and not like a, you know, if you just smash a mirror, it's like a shard. And that's like some final destination shit to like cut your throat and, and slice you up, right? So they put the tempered glass in. It's still, yeah, it's sharp. It's still sharp. So I got my cut resistant gloves on, but uh, it blows up and it gets all messy. And that's why we put the plastic on and everything. If you're operating and you got a bunch of like uh, breaking and whatnot to do, and you get those little shards of rock or rebar or something coming out and it hits right, it'll do that to you. And uh, so we put polycarbonate in there. Usually it's like a shield or like an overshield sometimes, or you can just replace your windows with polycarbonate altogether. I don't know if you guys saw, but we really walloped on the window with some different objects. And I mean, I've come across this before, like, you know, for other reasons, but you're, you're trying to break a window and it doesn't break and you're smashing the center of it and whatever, and they don't break. Like you saw how hard I was hitting it with the hammer and the rock and everything. And then as soon as you get the corners of the window, it breaks. So all it takes is maybe a little chunk of debris flying against that thing in the right spot or a little piece of whatever. You know, it doesn't take much sometimes to break the window. So, you know, being in equipment, sometimes even just putting your, your window down, you know, the little slide window on your, on your cab, putting that down if your cab is bent. I've seen them break that way too. So, but yeah, there's advantages to both. I mean, if you're not doing a lot of, I guess, demo work and you know, if you're not run a breaker and all that stuff, then yeah, glass might work fine for you. Uh, you know, if, you, if you're fine and you're blowing through windows or your operators keep blowing through windows, you can run the polycarbonate. You know, the other disadvantages to poly is it, it, it's not as hard as glass, obviously, that's because you get some flex, so it, it doesn't blow up like what we were just seeing, um, but it scratches a little easier. Um, you know, they got a lot of really good coatings nowadays, scratch-proof coatings and stuff, but it's still nothing beats you know, good old fashioned glass for clarity. That's kind of a, you know, a given no matter what, no matter what anyone tries to sell you on. But like I said, there's advantages to both. Pick whatever application kind of fits, you know? You only you know what kind of is gonna work for you and your environment. So uh, we're not here to try to sell you on one or the other. We just wanna give you an honest uh, kind of review and feedback on this. And uh, yeah, like I said, they uh, both have their advantages, so. Talking about the scratch resistance of poly, we'll, we'll check the coating. We'll check the, the, the shield's uh, polycarbonate. We'll kind of do a little scratch test with a few, a few basic things. And, uh, you know, because you guys are going to use it every day, we'll do everything from just wiping it with a dusty rag, which your operators are going to do. You know, unless you really care about your machine, a lot of guys just go and give it a quick wipe. And we'll, we'll do that. We'll do some scratch tests with rocks and other pieces. And we'll do some impact testing. Um, yeah, whatever we can kind of throw at it, but we'll try to do a, a broad range of stuff so you can see kind of the advantages and disadvantages to it. Yeah, I guess we'll install the window in the 35G so that it can uh, go back to work. <laughs> we'll make sure we didn't do any real damage on her either. But uh, yeah, she looks, uh, looks a little hurting right now. I feel bad, I feel really guilty, but they asked they ask me to do this. You asked for this. You asked for this, you, and you. Now to Kevin to try out the quarter inch polycarbonate and to give her honest opinions on it. And remember, do not try any of the tests you see us doing at home. Keep in mind that this, this particular one is a quarter inch uh, polycarbonate by Shields. It is a little bit more flexible 
and anything that gets thrown at it will bounce off a lot faster, so be careful of that. If you want to see how to install the upper window, the, the lower window is quite easy to install. It's just a matter of pulling it, pulling it out, sliding it in. Uh, the upper window, we have a video you can check in the description below. There's a video of how to install it. So we have the 35G behind us with the Shields polycarbonate window. So at first we're going to be using a hockey ball. It's a rubber plastic hockey ball. Like I said, it does hurt when you get hit with it. I did add one, one ball that is a golf ball, though we didn't try it on the OEM glass, but we could maybe see how that works here. Okay, so let's test this glass. Okay, that's the lower. Okay, I'm gonna hit it now. Okay, we're moving on. Obviously the window didn't break, but I noticed it, it, was, uh, it was pretty flexible and bouncing off the times that I didn't miss, of course. Um, so we're gonna move on to, to the next thing. This rock I'm trying is, is more flat, but probably it's bigger than, a, bigger than a tennis ball. So let's try this. Overhand? Let's try this one. This is pretty heavy. Now, that's a quarter inch polycarbonate. I hope it doesn't go right through, but we'll see. Okay, so we're gonna try this piece of rebar. We're gonna see. Let's try the sharper end. Okay. not breaking. Golf ball. Rock. Should we try this? So this is the one that broke the OEM glass last time. Let's see if it does it on this one. No. There's a couple nicks in the window. We'll clean it up and see how well that comes out. But uh, Seems not to break. So as you can see, the quarter inch Shields polycarbonate window held up pretty well. We're going to be doing some further testing on half inch and we'll see how hard it is to break that if we can. If you guys want us to keep testing this product on other machines, let us know in the comments below. So we're going to go ahead and use some glass cleaner to see if we can get these marks off. As I suspected, it didn't shatter. I didn't think those marks would be able to be removed. It probably protects against something like the windshield wiper scratching the window over time. I don't know if any window would be able to prevent it from being permanently damaged. You can, you can feel it. There's no way that's coming out. Yeah, so on another video, we're going to be doing some scratch tests with steel wool and other pieces of debris that will scratch. We'll see how well that holds up. So the whole time we were filming this video, the camera was behind a Shields polycarbonate window. Part of the feature of the Shields is that it's not distorted, so it looks like real glass. So we're going to test this. Hold on. Hold on. Just wait. That was probably good. That was horrible. Horrible. Holy! If you guys would like more information on the Shields polycarbonate, you can go to FortisHD.com. Hope you guys enjoyed our brief comparison of OEM glass and Shields polycarbonate. We have more tests to do with the polycarbonate, so stay tuned. If you like this video and would like to see more product comparisons, let us know in the comments below.